Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house? Arthur loves working on the island. He's the railway and is still learning his way around. One morning, he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water ill, and the seagulls called across the harbor. This was Arthur's favorite place. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. There's going to be a new line to the fishing village. I have to decide which engine shall run it. He Thomas and Percy looked away. They had enough work to do. Arthur hoped he would be chosen. Th yes, sir, said Thomas, but he really didn't like the smell of fish. Arthur was... Oh. Sir Topham sent him to hold... Your mother! That evening, Thomas was at the washdown when Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a... Shut up, he teased. Yes, huffed Thomas. Silly new line. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Thomas. The next morning, Thomas was still grumpy. The fishermen had caught lots and lots and lots of fish. Hurry up, said Thomas. I'm a busy engine. And a f too, said the fisherman. Just enjoy the fresh, salty smell of the fish. You. 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 Thomas steamed the fish. Despite the fact they are obvious to pull. But there was trouble ahead. Some faulty points sent his freight cars one way and Thomas onto the old pier rail. The troublesome trucks were delighted. He's falling. <laughs> Luckily, Thomas was hurt, and the fish freight car stayed on the tracks. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he checked his timetable. Arthur is the engine. It was a day. The ice started to melt. I hope someone comes, moaned Thomas. That fish will spoil soon. Arthur was surprised to see Thomas in the tidal pool. Are you all right, Thomas? No, the brake van will be here soon, called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks. Just in arrived. Later, Arthur went to see Thomas at the fitter's yard. Thank you for helping me, said Thomas. Thank you, said Arthur. I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. Well, please tell Sir Topham Hatt, because I don't like fish. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. I need an engine to go to the fishing village while Thomas is being repaired, he said. Any volunteers? Me, Arthur blurted out. And please, sir, may I run on that line all the time? Thomas doesn't like fish. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating. The line is yours. The next morning, he puffed into the village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere. But he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of so 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 